since the promo for chapter 13 of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex is out, I thought I'd make a video going over the many possibilities we'll see in the new chapter based on the current direction of the story. Absolutely cannot wait to hop into this video. So if you could just leave a quick like on the video, I would appreciate that so much, man. You don't understand. Let's try to get like 500 likes on this video. It just shows me y'all rock with me that much more. Well, we got a lot to talk about today, so I won't go too crazy on the intro. Let's just hop straight into the video. No wasting time. So the chapter 13 preview dropped today. Today, as in the time I'm recording this video, y'all will probably see this video tomorrow or something, but whatever. The translation for this post reads, Konoha falls. Boruto is caught off guard. Jura pierces his chest. Overwhelming Konoha with tremendous power. What will be the ending of Boruto versus Jura? Now, I didn't make a video talking about the many possibilities that the direction of the story could go, but I never actually went in depth with them. And there's quite a few of them. So today, we're gonna do just that. So I guess the first and the most obvious direction that many people wanna see the story go on is Momoshiki versus Jura. Like the promo stated, the situation changed drastically ever since the conclusion of chapter 12. Boruto and the others basically disposed of Hidari with relative ease. I don't wanna say it was easy, but let's be honest, it was much easier than I thought it would be. And they escaped the fight with little to no serious injuries, which means they'll be able to fight Jura more effectively and raise the odds of success. That was until Jura pierced Boruto through the chest with what seemed to be a biju bomb compressed into a laser. This drastically changed the situation because their best fighter is down with no signs of being able to fight again. And Jura now has possession of Hidari's thorn soul. And we have no idea what he's gonna do with it. So the only question here should be, what happens now? Judging from the last page of the chapter, Jura literally states that Boruto has to die because he's too much of a threat. Not only because he's just hella strong, but also because he knows about Thorn Souls, something that Jura seems worried about. So they must be very important to them one way or another. Here's where the problem lies. Momoshiki already stated earlier on in part one that one of his main motives is to protect Boruto more so from being devoured or being fed to the divine tree. This is the entire reason he fought Code back in chapter 65. He wanted to get rid of Code because he was a part of Kara, and he knew as long as that organization stayed intact, then the threat of Boruto being hunted and fed to the Tentils wouldn't go away. So let's just set it straight, Momoshiki does not care about Boruto. He can actually care less. If Boruto was not Momoshiki's vessel, he would just let him die. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. No need for me to say it. I don't even know why I said it. So we can use the same logic with Boruto just being unalive. Momoshiki views Boruto as a vessel, as I just said, so he won't let anything bad happen to his vessel. Not until he takes over Boruto's body permanently. The reality of the situation is that Boruto most likely can't hold Momoshiki back anymore. With Boruto having arguably worse control over his karma than in part 1, and Kawaki on sight, it's probable that a Momoshiki appearance is pretty imminent at this point. We can't forget that Kawaki isn't in the best situation either. It's already bad that Boruto can't contain Momoshiki's soul. But if Kawaki had to fight Jira, he'll have no option but to use his karma seal. The karma resonance could take place during the sequence of events, and y'all know what that means. That's gonna act as a catalyst for Momoshiki to awaken that much easier. I mean, to be honest, Boruto's karma doesn't even have to be active for Momoshiki to take over. We've seen it a bunch of times already. The most common way that Momoshiki took over Boruto's body was if Boruto was either injured or incapacitated. Just like in this chapter here, his control over the karma progressively gotten worse since he first became 100% Otsutsuki. So more of a reason why he'll lose control over his body. But even if Momoshiki awakens, can he beat Jura? That's the question we need to be answering. It's also true that Boruto naturally holds back from fighting at 100% most of the time, because even exhausting too much physical energy or chakra could result in Momoshiki's awakening. But that simply wouldn't be the case with Momoshiki. Since Boruto wasn't drained of chakra or low on stamina when he got sniped, odds are is that Momoshiki would have way more time to play in control of his body. And if you give someone like him access to flying Raijin or even Rasengan Uzuhiko, it could get dangerous for not only Jura, but the inhabitants of Konoha as well. 
Certainly not an ideal situation no matter how you put it, but it could end up temporarily saving Konoha of the Shinju, only if Boruto wakes up slightly after the threat is vanquished. But in conclusion, that situation would most likely end up doing more harm than good in the long run, because we don't know what Momoshiki would try to do to the people most important to Boruto, like Himawari or Sarada, and it would just further assure Kawaki that his decision to unalive Boruto wasn't faulty or unjust. It'll just make things that much more stressful for Boruto, especially if he tries to attack anyone but Jura. But like I said before, when I make these videos, it's more fun for me to look at it from a fan point of view, rather than just trying to be logical 100% of the time. So would I like to see Momoshiki whoop on Jura for a chapter or two? Of course. That's gonna automatically be the best fight in Tubu Vortex, hands down. But you have to admit, it'll push Boruto further away from his goal. See, that's the trade-off we're facing. I don't want to say this too late in the video, so I'll just say it now. Comment which one of these scenarios would you like to see, and why. I know a lot of people are going to say the first one, because you not only get a chance to see way more combat, a possible Kawaki vs Jura fight, or a Momoshiki battle, but you also get to see a character that's been absent for the entirety of Tubu Vortex. So if I had to choose, I'm definitely going to pick this option as well. But there's also other options that could be just as good. Kashin Koji raises suspicion because of his knowledge of the Thorn Soul. Boruto learned about it from him, and Jura was surprised that he knew about it, not knowing there was another mastermind behind the scenes. I recently made a video about Kashin Koji and the possible ways that he could know about the Thorn Souls, and not only that, but the Ten Tails as a whole. Since Chapter 2 and so forth, We've all been wondering how Boruto has so much knowledge on the Ten Tails and Divine Tree. The theories range from foresight all the way to time traveling. All was a possibility, but judging from the latest chapter, it's most probable that Kashin Koji was just feeding Boruto this information from the shadows. And the reason why it seems Boruto didn't want to tell anyone how he knows this information was to keep from exposing his new alliance with Kashin Koji. For all they know, Koji died shortly after his fight with Hishiki. So it would probably be better if they tried to keep his involvement a secret until things clear up. Even if it's not next chapter, I could see us getting a Kashin Koji focused chapter very soon. His involvement with Boruto and his motives pushes him into a bigger role in the story. For all we know, he's probably the reason why Boruto knew that Code was attacking Konoha. And from the look of things, he's the one that knew about the birth of the Shinju. He's the reason why Boruto made most of his moves so far and he's also had a presence in Boruto's training as well. We will learn Kashin Koji's true role in the story soon. I feel this buildup Kashin Koji has could lead up to a few things. Either we can get a flashback explaining what happened to Koji after he escaped Ishiki's clutches, because I believe that directly has some correlation as to where his Tentail knowledge came from. He must have done something or seen something during those three years that needs to be revealed soon for the story to advance further. Or the second possibility is that Kashin Koji actually comes out of the shadows to help fight against Jura or maybe save Boruto. Kashin Koji already told Boruto if he dies then everything they all work towards goes out the window. So protecting Boruto is a top priority of course. There's other options such as flying Raijin or even Koji reverse summoning Boruto. But if Koji wishes to also protect Konoha along with Boruto, I can see him getting mixed into the fight sooner rather than later. Koji could have a big role in the upcoming chapter, just because of the cliffhanger we got left with. Whatever he chooses to do will have a major impact in the flow of the story. Remember, the direction the story takes will most likely be revealed as soon as we know who's on the cover of chapter 13. It could be Momoshiki or Kashin Koji, but there's also one more person that could make an appearance in the next chapter that many of you wouldn't even believe. And that's of course Orochimaru. I believe Orochimaru coming into the story will have a direct connection to Kashin Koji. You see, one of the possibilities I have on how Koji knows so much about the Ten Tails and the Otsutsuki is Orochimaru. I promise this theory isn't coming out of nowhere. It's already been secretly foreshadowed in Chapter 9. Well, both Chapter 9 and 12. We can see Koji is in Orochimaru's hideout, and they're most likely using this hideout as a base which automatically confirms they at least came into contact with Orochimaru once during the 3 year time skip. But what for? We also see Boruto knows how to perform wind style breakthrough. 
a technique only seen to be used by Orochimaru himself in Mitsuki. The foreshadowing is of course there, and the theories are also there. Orochimaru fits into the story in a multitude of ways. Perhaps Sasuke and Boruto went to Orochimaru for testing, research if you will, to learn more about Boruto's karma and the changes his body underwent throughout the time skip, like inheriting the ability to fly. Since Boruto and Momoshiki's minds are intertwined now, it's pretty funny, but Boruto probably just woke up one day and knew how to fly. Like he just knew he could fly, no training or anything. Orochimaru probably wanted to study Boruto's body because of these rapid changes, and he could also learn about the Otsutsuki and maybe Shinjutsu from those studies. Maybe even to find out more about Ada's omnipotence power and a way to reverse it. It's no doubt that Orochimaru's expertise in ninjutsu study will land him a significant role in the story for many chapters to come. His motives can lie into just wanting to help Sasuke, the person who he respects the most. So if Kashin Koji is linked to Orochimaru in some way, even if we get a Kashin Koji chapter, there's a chance we can also get a glimpse of Orochimaru as well. A glimpse that shows us how he'd been involved in the story during those three years. My prediction is that we will either see a Momoshiki, Orochimaru, or a Kashin Koji chapter cover. A Momoshiki chapter would offer more action, most definitely, but if you want more dialogue and context to further push the narrative of the story, then you should hope for a chapter that dives deep on Kashin Koji's mysterious disappearance. There's also many other side events that could take place like Kawaki fighting Jura, uh, but I'll be honest, the only reason I didn't talk about that too much in this video is because uh, Kawaki's gonna get squabbled. No matter how you look at it, he's just as Jura stated. Otsutsuki bait, Otsutsuki fodder, trash. It depends what version of the manga you're looking at. So I'm pretty sure Jura knows no matter what Kawaki does, it shouldn't be a threat to him whatsoever. You can also have Himawari wake up and heal Boruto, but from the energy she just exhausted fighting and the fact that her and Kurama just had their first synchronization, I don't think she'll be waking up anytime soon. That's just me. But Himawari healing Boruto has a way higher possibility to happen than Kawaki actually doing something against Jura, to be honest. Hey, you know what? Let me know what you think will happen in Chapter 13. Now that I revealed all the possible directions I think the story will unfold, let me know what you think is the most likely, or maybe what you personally want to see happen. Chapter 13 drops on the 20th this month. Believe it or not, that's only two weeks away, and we'll be getting the spoilers even earlier than that. Fellas, Time is moving fast on us. 2024 is flying by and we're almost at 7,000 subscribers already. I just can't thank you all enough for the genuine love you've shown me this year. Just know we're gonna be going twice as hard from here on out. So if you're here for the ride, then just strap in. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did and wanna see more videos like this, then make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video like this in the near future. I'll be going live once again to cover the chapter 13 spoilers with y'all. So be on the lookout. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Don't forget. But until then, I'll see y'all boys and girls later. I'm out. Peace.